Good morning. Last night at dinner was ridiculous. Dirty urn was wasted. He walked into the kitchen by accident. Our waitress thought he was in Coheed and Cambria for most of the dinner. I left him. I left him at the restaurant. Here I edited until 4 a.m. And now I'm headed back to the little studio and that's where we are. The rental car, I still have, unfortunately. But I've had no fucking way to go return it. Well, I've had a way to go return it, but I've been trying to catch up on sleep. So I have to extend it for another day. Just like another hundred bucks. Kind of a L, bro. I don't wanna, I'd just rather drive this thing around town than go take it back or whatever right now. But anyway, internet is also painfully slow. We started uploading at 4 a.m. and it still says it has two hours left. Done tattooing in Pittsburgh. Well, we're done here. Now we gotta go to the house, chill, and go to the show. Slight change of plans. There was rain. It's not really raining now, but it was raining pretty heavily. The rain has delayed the show. Everybody who was gonna tattoo, all crazy, so there's no point. Basically, everything's crazy. I'm not going to the show now. Super fucking tired. I was up all night, so let's just catch it up. I have all day off tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is chill here, probably get in this motherfucking jacuzzi tub, son. Get some food. Tomorrow's my really only full day in Pittsburgh. We leave the 12th. And tomorrow's also Alex's birthday, so happy birthday, Alex. I miss you, I love you. I'm ready to get home soon. Uh, shout out to the homie that came through and rolled the fattest backwards I've ever smoked, probably, so that's also probably why I'm pretty tired. I gotta find some food. I'm really unmotivated right now. Whoa. Sure, there's so much I should tell you. I don't even know. All right, so uh, I should never be allowed to rent a car again. We're already running late. I'm basically in the middle of whether or not we're going to return this thing today or tomorrow when we leave and pay another almost $200 a day. We have to go ship this box right now. We have to fix it and then ship it bursting. So I have to fix this box or get a new one and then try to get this rental back, I guess, maybe. But it also might be worth keeping the car if we're gonna drive around today. I really don't know yet. We'll see what happens. All right, well, I just went into the post office, had to wait in line to get tape. Box is fixed, it's 11.50. There's no way we're making it to the airport in time. Fuck this car. This car has been, <laughs> this car was a bad idea. Fucking L, this shit is gonna end up costing almost 800 bucks <laughs> to rent the car for like four days. Oh my God. Oh. See, see, see. Not everything's all fucking glitter and gold, bro. <sighs> so that's an L. Okay, thank you so much for that. And how about your first name and last name? Theodore. Okay, so the new estimated total is $833 for tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, and then how about your second name? $925.57. I mean, how much would it charge me if I return it late today? I put 4 p.m. here, so that would be $711.80. That is for four hours of, of $16.98, and that would be $67.92. Okay, so I'll just try to get it there today by 4 o'clock then. The box shipped. That's good. It's on the way. It'll be delivered tomorrow. It's another two hundred and twenty-seven dollars. So anyone that thinks that all this shit is cheap, <laughs> getting the things done quickly is expensive. One day do like a tally of how much I have to spend every day. There goes. Ging, 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 ging. I actually don't want to know. Uh, so now we have a little bit of time because we have till four. Return the car is twelve. I might just go cruise around for a minute, even though that sounds awful. Maybe grab a small little thing to eat. There's a place right near the house that's really popular that, of course, has a line all the time. So we might just try to go eat there uh, at some point today i really don't know man and then i didn't realize that my flight out isn't until tomorrow until like six so i have kind of like part of the day to fuck around mm. i don't know yeah i should maybe switch my flight to an earlier flight all right we changed our flight that was free so now we're gonna leave at 11 30 tomorrow we can just like wake up early and get out of here. Pittsburgh, sorry. I feel like i'm not giving pittsburgh the love it deserves pittsburgh is crazy like i like it here it's very rustic like american authentic it's very gritty i call it gritsburg as soon as i got here. i can see why there was a massive war fought over the land with all of the crazy ass like hills peaks and valleys it's a it's a crazy place very hard working 
which is like super hard working. I have a theory that the harder the working the city, the more devoted people are to sports teams. Pittsburgh is pretty devoted to their sports teams. The food here so far is not my favorite. I know we talked a little shit about that sandwich the other day that I'm not gonna go eat. All the food here feels really heavy to me. <laughs> really, you know, not all of it. All. Most of the food that I've tasted is just like heavy. Got like a, a weight to it. I don't know what it is. A lot like Philly, you know, like Pennsylvania. Hardy, hardy helpings. Cause you gotta go and fucking work all day and shit, I bet. Yeah, Pittsburgh, I don't know, man. You're a crazy little place. You can see why people like it. it has a lot of character. This part of the United States is just like the like one of the only parts left, I feel like, that are not completely plasticed over. So it's interesting, you know. I'm not really getting the full experience either, you know. I'm literally not even getting a taste of Pittsburgh. Not even a taste, dog. <laughs> I couldn't find gas, so I took a off-road, whatever. I went off, I went off trail. In this weird area that's kind of strange and got a lot of like hillbillies and shit, but also some nice people too. But there's a little barber shop right here. And it's a bunch of tattooed dudes. So I'm gonna go get my hair cut real quick, hopefully. And it'll be nice to get this fucking shit cut off my face. Hopefully I'll be back, this won't be here. Like that, son. It's 2.30 almost. Shout out to my man at CJ at Lucky's Barbary, Barbary. Lucky's Barbary, CJ, tattooed head to toe. All right, let's go return this motherfucking piece of shit around car. Glows, yos, what's up? This is what I would look like if my face was made of a camera lens. It's not, here's what we're doing, nothing. We're chilling. We're waiting on a homie. I'm gonna smoke a joint. I got a pack. We're gonna find some food. That's really it, man. We're chilling. We're not even gonna go around Pittsburgh because it's just too crazy. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh crazy, y'all. Most cities you go to are on a grid. The grid helps you get around. Pittsburgh is more like chutes and ladders or like a bowl of spaghetti. Driving around here is insane. I don't, I don't know how y'all, I don't know how y'all do this. It's like crazier than a really busy city. But there is a lot of really cool stuff. Like I said, a lot of the old brick buildings that they are tearing down to put up new uh, Google apartments, basically. Um, so I don't know, man, it's weird. It's weird. A lot of places are weird. Pennsylvania is going through a lot of changes. I'm not that familiar, but uh, I got to smoke a fucking joint. <laughs> All right, Gaucho, Gaucho, Gaucho is really good. No line, I literally walked right in as you saw, and then there was a line afterwards. Not a crazy line, but for a Tuesday night, pretty, pretty good line. So yeah, if you're gonna go there, weekday is definitely the day. I got even more food to come home. I just got a sandwich when I was there, but the steak is honestly really good. So I got a little bit more and some desserts. Shit like that. Yep, I'm gonna pack, Ugh, maybe make some beats if I have time. Do some drawing, iPad shit, send emails. Today's been a catch up day. I'm getting very tired. And I think my flight's a standby flight. I don't think I'm actually confirmed on it, which might be an issue. Pudding, corn, corn, bread, no pudding. Salad, whipped cream, it's going to the fridge, and more steak. La Crow IX. The bread itself is ridiculous. When you make a pudding with that bread, it's fucking insane. Clarification on the flight. I'm on standby for an early flight. We'll see what happens. Standby. What's his name? Sonny. Sonny. You're the mascot for the whole airport, huh? Uh, there's 11 of them. <laughs> 11 of you guys? That's crazy. Nice, that's awesome. Dogs put people in a good mood, so that's... <laughs>